I don't think it's a three. It can't be a three a Erdria place. It's it might be a Tickington world. I don't know if it's it can't be an Erdria location. There's no way. The only place I would know to be Liar is Arborea, but even that's a stretch. Because we didn't really get to the lie. We didn't really get to why that would be Arborea in the story, so. Take me to the Chosen. Uh, Dragon Quest 4 world. This music. Oh, this is a dungeon, huh? Alright, well, we'll just do this dungeon then, and then we'll come back to that Liar of Ire. Oh my goodness, it's the, the, the dashing things that appear in the rocket hideout of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Boo dog? Okay. Sure, this music by the way. I haven't been many, uh... I haven't been many, uh, dungeons in Tickington, so I do enjoy when every now and then... It's nice to be able to go to the worlds, but I enjoy when they put a dungeon so we get to play in 2D a little bit. Oh, goodbye. Yo, this music is really good. Classic Dragon Quest 4. I can't wait to replay Dragon Quest 4. Uh, boom right there. I guess you could swoosh. And then just regular attack should be fine. Goodbye, crack build platypunk. Seventy-nine. <laughs> this place was found in Arborea. Why is it so weak? It's so weird. Or maybe I'm just overleveled. Or like really good on equipment and it's just really like it feels weak. Agility. B -b 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 Eric. Do I want to know where to go for the liar? Mm, not yet. After this quest, we'll see if I can figure it out. I'll come back to you on that, maybe. Because I, I it's got to be a Tickington world. There's no way it's an Urdria world. The reason I think it's not... The reason I would guess Arborea is because of something that didn't even happen in the playthrough yet, so... It's not Arborea. It's gotta- I'm gonna look through all the Tick and Tim worlds and see if I can figure it out. Maybe some NPC or something talks about the liar, or maybe there is a liar and I just didn't notice it. it can't be that hard. Blow away. Elena! Yo, that's so cool. Yo, this heat is too much powerful. It makes everyone exhausted completely. I am incapable to abandon my quest regardless, and so I create an adventurous band with these fellows. I begin to consider that this was perhaps not an act of genius. Where's Curl? Yo, that's so cool. I like that. Love that. Oh, yeah, these are some new enemies. These are enemies I don't think are in the 3D version of the game. At least I don't think there are, so. I should probably look if there's a bestiary in 2D mode, actually. Because the bestiary only counts 457, but apparently that's not the whole bestiary. Yo, I'm really, I'm really surprised we're seeing Elena. That's really cool. I like that. It'd be great if there was a Dragon Quest uh, 8 world that we got to see Jessica or something. Man, that'd be amazing. Dragon Quest 4 has some good characters. I haven't played the game in a while, but I know them from Heroes 2. Heroes 2 had Maya, Mina, well... Yeah, Heroes 2 had Maya, Mina, Elena, Curl, and I think there's another... Or oh, Tornico, too. So I know the Dragon Quest 4 characters. I know them a lot more because I played Heroes 2 a lot, but I played their game at least once back in the day. So you know. 
Man, I really hope we get to see, like, other characters. That'd be so cool. Some, it makes sense, like, the games that don't have actual party members, but, like, Dragon Quest VIII, I hope we get to see, like, Jessica and Angelo in a world. That'd be so cool. Genghis would be too, but Jessica and Angelo are clearly, like, my favorite DQ8. This is, uh, gonna be annoying. Oh, I was supposed to walk up to get that chest. I'm gonna hate this. This is gonna get old very fast. And random encounters. It's like I'm playing Lufia 1 again. Joy, oh joy. Oh, dude, that Final Fantasy thing is going on right now. I'll have to catch up. I don't even know if they announced anything good, but I'll catch up later. I think I remember reading it was going to start at like 6 my time. And it's like 7, so it probably already is it's done. Blow away. And vacuum smash. I'm gonna hate this, by the way. I already do. Especially the encounter rate making it annoying. Posted this stuff in Discord? Great, I'll take a look later. I can't look right now. I mean, I technically could, but I'm not going to. I'm streaming. <laughs> I'll look when I'm done. Chances of me, I would have found it anyway. I would have been, I would have opened my phone, notifications would have been like, oh, Discord, I would have saw it from there. That's what I meant. I'm not gonna pick up my phone and be like, hey, what'd they announce? I'll, I'll do it later. And I'll probably end, if it's something really good, I'll tweet about it. I hope they at least, I am hope they revealed the game. random soldiers. Yeah, these are just random people. I heard this cave was freezing cold, so I was I wore thermal underwear and a fur coat. Talk about a massive mistake. How is that they've now Elena not falling over with heat exhaustion? These rotates really are another breed. Oh, Elena is one of a kind. That's just how she is. Dude, this is gonna get very annoying very fast with this stupid encounter rate as trying to figure out this area. I want to start like I want to start setting up to live stream events like I could start live streaming trailers and stuff that'd be great I haven't done it but it'd be interesting uh give it to Veronica I guess if they announce something good there I'm gonna be like man I wish I was streaming this one day Maybe by the time the next Direct starts, the next Nintendo Direct, maybe I'll start streaming stuff like that by the time that starts. Because there's supposed to be a Direct, like, late June, isn't there? I think I heard that. Or maybe that's a rumor? I don't know. Get boomed. Giant explosion. take me. Dude, this is gonna be so annoying. I already hate this. 
Chat, just tell me uh, where to get uh, the liar ire. Because I do not remember or know. Just tell me the location. I'm fine with it. I want to make sure we do that. And then we can just go straight to the first forest next time. We're not going to get to start the first forest because this is going to take a while. We'll just talk about... We'll just start the first forest next time. Hi. Can't grab that? All right. This is going to take most of the time. And then we're going to need to, like, report it. Oh, it's in Gallenhone. Oh, that's one of the, uh, that is one of the Chicken Tin ones. Okay. Is Gallenhone the one with the dogs? It might have been. That was like a Dragon Quest II location or something. One of the earlier ones. Or was that Munahan? I... I hate this, dude. I might need to use those holes. I'll go this way. We haven't tried this yet. Oh, is DQ1 location? There's a Munahan too. I probably got the two mixed up. Munahan and Gallenhone are one and two. I don't know which one's which, though. And then obviously Erdrick's future home is three. Yo, Serena's got a liar. Can't we just, like... That's a harp. No, nah, liar and harp are not really the same thing. They're similar, but not the same thing. Yeah, Gallenholm... I think Gallenholm was the first location we got. Hang on. Gallenholm... Yeah, Gallenholm was the first one we did. Gallenholm was the one where we fought that bongo monster. That makes sense. Gallenholm was the one that was the very first Tickenton area. I did them in order, and we fought the bongo monster. Munahan didn't have a dungeon. Munahan was just a really easy quest. I remember. Might have been the second one you did? No, I did both. Moon okay, Munahan's Dragon Quest 2. That's what I thought. I got the two- When it comes to what game they're from, I got the two mixed up. I never played the first two Dragon Quests. I just knew one was from DQ1, the other one was DQ2. Every single Tekken Tink quest that could be complete, we've done. The only ones we haven't done, we haven't done the Observatory because we have to go the Ruby Path of Doom. That's an Act 2 password. Chateau Felix, obviously, we have to wait. Every quest that has is able to be completed now, we've done. Uh going through that door. Do not mess this up. Cheater cheetah, I hate that. Please die. With Serenity, I already have one of those, so kind of pointless. It's gonna bring me back. A second one might not. These encounters are getting so annoying, dude. I hate everything. I only have 20 minutes left in stream. I want to make sure we can get everything done, and then we can just go straight to the first forest. to start stream next time just by doing the first forest and then getting those quests done as we do the first forest report them and then we're good to finish off act one nice blunt what does blunt even do i've learned it too oh i can't check because it's non-battle oh come on stupid encounter rate i really feel like i'm playing lufia one that's not a good thing Game, that game's encounter rate is abysmal.
That game is very meh, too. It's, it's like not even that good. It's very dated. It's not like the worst game I've ever played, but it's very dated. And there's no reason to play it when Lufia 2 and 3 exist. Now nah, it's gonna bring me there. I don't know how to get that chest. I'll figure it out later. I'll be honest with you, I might not get that chest right now because I'm like... I only have 20 minutes left. I got a crit, I think? Something happened. What does this do? Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, I think this is right. Is that I can go this way? No, what? What was this do? Same spot. Fully noted. Oh, you're new. I haven't seen you yet. The Grim Keeper. You guys aren't a pair? Why? You guys are the same enemy type. Oh, I hate this place. So much. This is my least favorite Tickington dungeon. Let's see if it stays that way or not. I doubt it. There's probably gonna be one worse than this. And part of why this is annoying is the encounter rate. I want that chest really badly. At the same time, I'm willing to abandon it because I don't like this place. Are you kidding me? Oh, Serena and Jade are like, yeah, they've fallen over. That's annoying. Thirty-six, nice. covered in arrows i wonder who drew them there you know whenever i see an arrow i just want to go the other way i've been like that since i was a kid i'm not going to change now according to the tacos this place is called parthenia and it's famous for the special medicinal herbs that grow here if we happen to get our hands on some don't let serena anywhere near it she'll insist on using it in her cooking and the results oh is she a bad cook like uh you get go i do like having these arrows on the ground telling us which direction to go it's a very thoughtful touch yeah if only i can manipulate it Uh... Is that the right way? Yeah, go, go this way. I just want to be done. I don't care about that chest. It's probably not even worth it, I bet. This place is annoying enough for me to be like, Hey, I don't care about the chest. I just want to be done with this place. No, but I, I have to... I know what I have to do. I have to walk down it, but I can't... Okay, I understand. I understand what to do. I have to walk down it. I think I'm able to walk down it without going on the thing. Can I run from you guys, please? Thank you. Just a waste of my time. Like, why are we doing this? I wonder. I wonder if this is actually... Again, it's been so long since I played Dragon Quest 4. I bet you this is actually a dungeon in Dragon Quest 4. Just like the Rainbow Mines is probably a dungeon in Dragon Quest 7, I bet. On the Dragon Quest 7 front, I have no way to know. I've never played the game. But for, um... For 4, uh, it's just been a hot minute. I don't remember everything. I remember very little, in fact. 
most of what I remember is the characters and the way the game is divided. It's like divided into chapters. So, of course, I don't remember... I don't remember dungeons. 